started boxing as a 10 year old, well actually 8 year old. Um, my father took me to a boxing gym uh, at the age of 9. But to be honest I wanted to be a professional footballer but I suppose when I got to the age of 13 when I won my first British school by Bay Tile I realised my, my, my fists sorry, were a lot faster than my feet. So I stuck to the boxing. Two professional in 1993 in, uh, in Car a box of Cardiff in the old Cardiff Arms Park. Uh, on the end of the card of uh, Lennox Lewis and Frank Bruno and that was a start to an incredible journey which seen me become British professional champion, um, become world champion for a decade, super movie and disputed champion, uh, ring magazine like heavyweight champion and, and retire 46 and all, which um, beyond my wildest dreams, very blessed, um, I'm very happy with that. Um, my favourite fights, obviously beating Chris Eubank October 97, realising a dream as a kid, it's fantastic against a great fighter like Chris Eubank. Um, Jeff Lacey was an amazing fight in March 2006 at the MEN, my first unification fight. Always lived with me, one of the best fights I think I've ever been involved in, if not the best. Mikko Kessler, another great fight at the Millennium Stadium, my last ever fight in the UK. Winning all the belts in front of 50,000 plus fans, it was incredible. And not again going to the States twice and beating uh, Bernard the Executioner Hopkins, although I didn't execute him that night, and uh, Roy Jones Jr. As you can see behind, shot from Roy Jones, beat him at Madison Square Garden in the Mecca of Boxing. So it was fantastic. And being, also being a world champion, being BBC Sports Personality of the Year, being honored with the Queen. So, yeah, like I can say it's been a fantastic ride, still interested in boxing, still love the sport. Um, very blessed, and also still finished boxing at the top, and not looking too bad. So.